It's time consuming and expensive. You don't need it. I'm gonna quickly note here that I am once again de-influencing the curly girl method. <laughs> if you are new to my channel and you haven't seen many of the videos I've made about the curly girl method and me distancing myself from it, I will have those videos down below to check out. There are so many rules from the Curly Girl Method that I absolutely love and swear by, but so many that I think really need a revamp and need to be brought into 2023. And that's the tea. On an aside, I will say that if following all the rules of the Curly Girl Method work for you, listen, more power to you, sister or brother. Big to thank yous to Eva NYC for sponsoring a small portion of today's video, but we will get into that in a little bit. If you're starting off your wavy, curly, or coily journey or trying to just reduce the clutter a little bit, I'm gonna walk you through the products in my personal opinion that you need and do not need. Most important hair products in your curly kit include shampoo, conditioner, clarifier, a curl cream styler, gel, and sometimes a bond builder. Let me dive into this just a little bit. Of course, shampoo, conditioner, bada bing, bada boom, you gotta suds up that scalp, get in there, get rid of the buildup. Shampoo helps to add volume, all the things, conditioner. As Lorraine Massey, the creator of the Curly Girl Method always says, frizz is a curl begging for moisture. Conditioner brings that moisture in and is every Curly Girl's best friend. Now, clarifier. This isn't necessarily a weekly product, maybe it's a monthly product. This isn't an every wash day kind of situation. So this is a product that's gonna last you significantly longer. If you are using shampoo that has sulfates, you don't necessarily need a clarifier in your routine. However, if your shampoo is sulfate free, I highly recommend a clarifier once a month at the least for your scalp. This is gonna help get rid of buildup, which is in turn gonna help with curl definition, elasticity, any dullness happening in your hair, it's gonna add a little bit more shine. Don't sleep on the clarifier. A curl cream styler, depending on your hair type, maybe a custard is better for your hair. Maybe a mousse is better for your hair. For my hair in particular, a curl cream styler is best. I'm able to skip the leave-in conditioner and simplify my routine. In a curl cream styler, I can get the moisture and the definition all in one. Next, we have our gel. Now, I used to despise gel, hate gel. Gel was the bane of my existence, and now I love it. If you live in a humid area, if, <laughs> if you wanna have your hair locked in for days so you don't have to wash it every other day, you can just stick to once or twice a week, gel is key. Now, maybe you're more so looking for a soft hold gel, a strong hold gel. That depends on your preferences and your hair type. But gel, essential. Last but not least, before moving into the products we do not need, we have bond builders. If your hair is healthy, if you do not bleach your hair, if you do not apply high heat to your hair, if there is no damage to your hair, you don't need it. You don't need the bond builders and don't let anyone tell you otherwise, friend. But if you highlight your hair, <laughs> if you use heat on your hair, bond builders are essential. Jumping into our de-influencing, these are products you do not necessarily need. You might love them, you might enjoy them. Amazing, beautiful, they might work incredibly well for you. All I'm saying is they're not necessarily needs. A steamer. This just in, you can steam your hair <laughs> by, <laughs> by going in the shower, turning it on high heat, and then standing away from the shower head. Boom, steam, okay? You can DIY that. You're welcome. Moving on to hair towels. Now I love a hair turban more than anyone, okay? Love it. But is it a need? No. I used old cotton t-shirts for a very long time, years, and they worked just as well, if not better. Co-wash. Now I will say this absolutely 100% depends on your hair type, okay? As a wavy girl myself, this would be a product that I don't necessarily need. Whereas someone with type four hair might desperately need a co-wash. So this is something that's definitely gonna depend on your hair type. I do have many friends with type four hair that have told me that they will just use their regular schmegular conditioner, really like suds it up, lather it up, add a little bit of water to it, get on in that scalp and kind of create their own co-wash so that they don't have to buy an extra product. Moving on to leave-in conditioners. Now, while this is very beneficial to certain hair types, it can weigh down others, so it definitely depends on your hair type. I will say that this is a product I think you can get the benefits of in other products. If you are looking to simplify your routine, if you opt for a curl cream styler, that's gonna give you the benefits of the moisture that a leave-in conditioner would give you 
and the definition of a curl cream so you can ditch the leave-in conditioner all together. Moving on to the Denman brush. This is controversial. <laughs> I don't even know where my diamond brush is because I haven't used it in a very, very long time. Here's the tea. A diamond brush is a styling brush that is 100% gonna help give you beautiful clumped results, okay? But they are not simple to use. It's not like you're gonna pick it up one day, do, 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 and suddenly be a master of the diamond brush. It takes time and it takes practice. I do find a difference when I use the Denman brush. I will get more definition. However, the time that it takes to get the results that I get, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it does not work for me. I completely understand and respect if it is your holy grail product. For me personally, it's not a product that I reach for because while the results are great, the time and effort that it takes to use are greater than the results. You follow me? We're gonna rewind just a little bit and walk through understanding your hair type. Do you have waves, curls, coils, high density, low density, high porosity, low porosity, coarse hair, fine hair? All of these factors make a drastic difference in the results that you're gonna get from using a product. So while I might use a product on my hair type and it works beautifully for me, you might have some slightly different variations in your hair type, even though it might look similar or a appear similar, the actual structure of your hair is different at the end of the day and those products might not work for you. I personally have wavy hair, high porosity hair, but not too crazy high, more like medium to high porosity hair. I have a high density of hair, so meaning I have a lot of hair, but each individual strand itself is fine. So I have high density, fine hair. While someone else might look or appear like they have the same amount of hair as me, but they have coarse hair strands, but not as many of them. So what works for me might not work for you. And a great example of this is my mother. That's right, Mama Batson. My mother's hair is a little bit more on the curly end than mine, but overall our hair looks very, very similar when we're side by side. But the makeup of our hair is different. So products that work for her often weigh my hair down, and products that work for me often leave my mother's hair very dry. Mama Batson has wildly high porosity hair. I mean, that woman gets out of the shower and her hair is dry. <laughs> Her hair craves moisture like no other. And while my hair loves moisture, it doesn't want to use ingredients that's going to weigh it down. So while a product like Eva NYC's Made Magic 10-in-1 Primer, this is the for fine hair version, is gonna work beautifully for me. The regular version that is not for fine hair but more for normal hair would work significantly better for Mama Batson. I've spoken about this product many a time on my channel and I'm excited to work with Eva NYC again because I genuinely love this line and these products in general because they work really well for my hair type. The packaging is 100% recyclable, which is something that's really important to me personally. They are vegan and cruelty free and ingredient wise, they're free from sulfates, silicones, parabens, phthalates, none of the junk ingredients. Instead, it's powered by argan oil and sunflower oil. My love for the Made Magic 10-in-1 Primer leads me into my next point of simplifying your hair routine. As I mentioned, this is a 10-in-1 product. You do not need... <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like... Listen, no shade if you use 20 hair products, okay? If it works for you, it works for you. But I feel like every hair routine that I see lately, it's like primer. Co-wash, shampoo, conditioner, refreshing foam, curling styling cream, gel, oil, dry shampoo, bond builder, UV protection. I mean, you get the gist. Like, I get tired just watching how many steps there are, but this is a 10 in one. When it comes to using 10 products for your hair routine, it's time consuming and expensive. And I am lazy when it comes to my hair routine. The simpler, the quicker, the better, but I still wanna get good results. This product softens, moisturizes, has UV protection, reduces breakage, it is not greasy, and it's not gonna weigh your hair down, detangles, cuts drying time, 24 hour frizz protection, heat protection, and strengthens. When I styled my hair today, this is the only styling product that I used. I didn't also use a leave-in conditioner, a foam, a curl cream, etc. right? I just used this. I did use a gel at the end because a product like this is not gonna give you a gel cast, okay? 
Eva NYC, I need you to come out with a gel. I don't know why you don't have a gel yet, but I'd love to work with you on it. So this created essentially just a two product styling routine for me with, in my opinion, really beautiful results. As mentioned previously, this is the new formulation for fine hair. I will link this one in the description box down below as well as the regular formulation. I know you guys know and love this product as well. If you use code INDIA20, you can get a discount and I'll have a link in the description box down below. If you're looking to simplify your routine at an affordable price, be sure to check out the 10 in one magic line depending on your hair type. Fine hair, opt for this version. Thick, coarse hair, opt for the regular version. This one won't be for you. Next, we're gonna talk about blow dryers. Welcome to blow dryer school. Class is in session. I'm gonna be walking you through my top three hair dryers of three completely different price brackets, and we're gonna compare them. It's happening. Okay, <laughs> if you want a video completely dedicated to diffusing, I would love to do that. We can do that another day, but I want to give a quick area to this because I think a lot of people push certain blow dryers so hard, like influencing you, like you've gotta have the Dyson, you've gotta get the Shark, you've got, you know what I mean? And it's like, you don't, right? So let's walk through the three different blow dryers. I'll go ahead and share that these are all three, my top three of the blow dryers I've ever tried. They're all great and they all have pros and cons, okay? So first up on the docket, we have the Conair Infinity Pro. This is our cheapest, blow dryer. It depends where you purchase it, but this product is gonna cost you around $40. Moving on, we have the Tymo dryer. This is the next level up, and this is gonna cost you approximately $200. Coming in at a resounding $430, depending on where you get it, the Dyson. These are the different categories we're gonna walk through today. Temperature, how well the attachment stays on, price, how fast you can blow dry your hair, quietness, and how heavy the blow dryer itself is. So that this video isn't 20 minutes long, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in my ratings and rankings for these blow dryers. I will often travel with the Conair simply because I have no fear of this being stolen from my bag. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to steal this bad boy. But, like I said, they all have pros and cons, okay? So, moral of the story is that you do not need to spend $430 on a Dyson blow dryer if that's not in your budget and you don't want to, right? But some people absolutely swear by the Dyson and because their hair is important to them, it's something that they use every day, it dries their hair very quickly, it's something that is worth the investment to them. I just don't want you to feel like you need the best of the best and you can't go kind of like the middle of the road price range route and go with the Timo because this blow dryer is awesome. You don't have to spend $430 and in the same breath, you can only spend $40 and still get fantastic results. It's really at the end of the day all based off of personal preference and what works best for you. So do not allow someone to influence you or kind of like push you into thinking you have to spend X amount of dollars to get a good diffuse. You don't. These are all great, and they're all great for different reasons. I will say recently I've been using the Timo a lot and really enjoying it, and I think it's a good price range where it's kind of like middle of the road, but they're all fantastic. Quickly wanna to touch on expectations when it comes to your hair, ladies and gentlemen. So we have to be realistic when it comes to our hair. My hair is never gonna look like Bianca Renee today's. My hair is never gonna look like Aisha's. My hair is never gonna look like E.C. May May. These are all beautiful, incredible, wonderful friends of mine, but they do not have my hair type. And my hair will never look like theirs. And I think expectation-wise, when it comes to influencers speaking to us, because I watch hair videos just as much as you watch hair videos. Sometimes I buy a product and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. And then it's like, well, I didn't think about the fact that her hair really isn't my hair in so many ways, she has 10 times more hair than mine and like my hair just isn't gonna look like that. And that's okay. Having realistic expectations of the results in your hair is really important. Last but certainly not least, you do not need to buy every new curly hair product that comes out. Now I know you're thinking, India, that's so hypocritical. This is a video where you're promoting products X, Y, Z. Listen, I love hair products. They make a difference in the results of your hair. However, you do not need every product that someone recommends to you. For example, Eva NYC's Made Magic 10 in 1, this is for fine hair. If you have an insane amount of hair, this isn't gonna do anything for you, right? We as consumers have to be smart and understand and recognize 
which products to purchase and which products not to purchase. On the flip side, it is fun to buy new hair products. Like it can be a hobby. Daniel will be like, where, where did you go? And I'm like, oh, I was washing my hair. He's like, for two hours? I'm like, mm-hmm. And that's not styling, that's just washing. Like I just enjoy the experience. I like trying new scalp scrubs. Like I enjoy trying new products, but you don't need to buy every product that someone recommends to you. To conclude, biggest of thank yous to Ava NYC for sponsoring today's video. Once again, it really means a lot to me. I literally love their products and I'm excited that they agreed to partner with me on a de-influencing video. Like it was just, it's fun. So uh, once again, if you wanna use code INDIA20 to get a discount, I will have that link down below. I love these products. They work really well for my hair. And if how I describe them, they will work well for you. Go for it. And if not, don't get them. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video and the de-influencing trend. Let me know down below if you agree with some of the things I've spoken to today. I know they're a bit controversial, just a wee bit, but I'm excited to know and hear from you guys. All right, that's everything. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.